are overall a good source of nutrition and a part of healthy food. But this is not a universal thing. Those who have tendency to easily put on weight and those who are diabetic needs to learn a little bit more depth about what fruits to take, how to take and in what quantity to take to improve their overall health. As for the research, fructose which is basically a fruit sugar which we are getting from fruits are considered worst if we compare it with the glucose. This is because the way they are metabolized. When we are consuming glucose, this glucose are used by each and every cell and each and every organ of our body. Whereas when we are consuming fructose, this fructose are first absorbed by our intestine and then this straight away goes to our liver where this excess of fructose gets converted into a fat, rather a bad fat. And then what you get is fatty liver, central adiposity, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes, weight gain and then it starts causing problem all over your body. Also the problem with this fructose is that they do not trigger your satiety level. So what happens is that you overeat them and then this over ingestion of fructose affects your insulin resistance. Over here, I would like to mention that ki agar aap ek bar obese ho jate hai, ya fir aapke body ka weight kafi bad jata hai, to aapke body ka jo insulin resistance hota hai, wo bhi bad jata hai. Aur jinke body ka insulin resistance bad jata hai, unke body ka in general jo insulin ka jo baseline hota hai, wo bhi bad jata hai. To iski aapke body pe do tarikhe se effect aati hai. So the first effect is that it puts a lot of pressure on your pancreas to secrete more insulin. And uh, what happens is that with the time there would be burnout of this pancreas leading to even more severe diabetes. And the second effect is that the higher level of insulin will lower down your metabolism and it will also lead to more fat deposition. This is because this insulin is an obesogenic hormone and then it will cause the effects like uh, craving of food, weakness, laziness after eating the food. So all these things are because of insulin. Over here I would like to mention that the reason why we are uh, always suggesting that you should avoid fruit juices is that whenever you are consuming fruit juices you can actually consume them in a very large quantity without realizing that you are taking in so much of fructose. Also this fruit juices stimulates insulin secretion. And the another problem with the fruit juices is that the pulp is gone, so the fibers are gone, a major part of vitamins are also gone. So what you are actually having is just a small glass of flavored liquid. So Whenever you are looking forward to have fruits as a part of your healthy diet, you should make sure that you are having them as a whole and not the juices. Now talking about diabetic patients and their fruit intake. If you are diabetic, if you are targeting weight loss, if you are having fatty liver, then you should restrict the quantity of fructose, that is the amount of fruits that you are usually taking but again if you are not so obese and if you are not having poorly controlled diabetes and if you are following diet and lifestyle to maintain your health and weight then in those cases we don't advise you to restrict your fruit intake. All these things are not like a max calculation it applies to each and every individual in a different way Every body responds to calorie, food, medicine and everything in a different way. But there are certain people whose digestive tract, their metabolism and their hormonal status allow them to eat whatever they feel like eating without them putting weight or raising their blood sugar level or having any kind of fluctuations in their metabolism. 
so such people can afford in liberty to eat whatever they feel like eating but if you are diabetic if you are uh, having tendency to easily put on weight then in those cases you should definitely be very much careful about what fruits you are taking how you are taking and in what quantity you are taking so analyze your body well and then apply all these principles as a part of this care it is very much important to have that clarity that fruits are overall a good source of nutritive food we don't want people to completely cut off them but uh, it is very much important that people should have that understanding that they can have all this thing all these fruits in moderation and they should have them whole and not their juices but again if you are diabetic and if you have tendency to easily put on weight then you should restrict certain fruits which are high in natural sugar content like mangoes red apple grapes jackfruit pears sugar cane and chiku in place of them these are the fruits which are probably the better options like lemon guava green apple kiwi oranges plums peaches apricot and strawberries if you are in a process of losing some weight need guidance for diet and lifestyle changes to lose some weight we would be more than happy to be your partner in that